Today the Lord bless you. And you will be the next testify. That expectation that brought you here today, the Lord will never miss the target. You are going to make a little prayer. Don't pray too much. Because you have been praying for a long time. Prayed many places. And it appeared no answer. You have to press more prayer today. And the Lord will begin with you. Some of your problem is caused by evil spirits. That is why this program today is called Deliverance and Counsel. If you are listening very well, you can see I'm giving you some counsel. Deliverance will follow. Um, the prayer you are going to pray now is Father begin with me. You have to keep quiet because you have prayed to God. Don't pray too much. Um, now you have prayed. It is the responsibility of God to answer and begin with you and give you your victory. Father, your children has prayed. Their prayer is that you begin with them one by one. Holy Ghost, show them a sign. Watch us, watch out. The Lord's beginning with somebody that pray that prayer now. What are you? Holy Ghost, bring that person out. Yes, yes, yes. That's, that's number one. Number one. I'm still waiting for many. Damn it. Yes, down there. Down there. Yes, down there also. Down there now. In my front. The Lord is beginning with somebody down there. Yes, yes, yes. Bring them out. That prayer is answered. There is somebody there. There. You can look out there. Somebody is there. As long as you've made that prayer with all your heart. Yes, in my front now. A young man there. The Lord is beginning with you, with you. All of you, yes, down there also. No matter who has been following you, now the Lord is dealing with that power. Yes, yes, look at that person there also. The way they tie you, you are being loose now. Watch us, watch out, bring him out. Let them not break the whole shia. He see you. All those evil dreams. As the Lord finishes with today, you will never see that dream again. Watch us, watch out. Watch out. There are many. Young lady, split husband, and tormented you. The Lord is beginning with you. Today, that yoke is broken. Bring them out, bring them out. There are many, there are many, there are many, there are many in your family. They took your name. Young man, they took your name to a shrine. Now receive your deliverance there. Bring them out. And you, your father took all your name and initiated to the court he belonged before he died. And after that, all of you have been suffering. I lose all of you. <laughs> Whatever that is making noise in your stomach, that serpent will die now. You will be free. You will receive freedom, thorough freedom, thorough freedom, thorough freedom. Lay that python catch fire. Come out! 
Ushers, watch out. Catch fire, fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. And I pray for you every time failure, failure. And you just uh, at the point of getting anything, failure. The spirit monitoring you, I bind that spirit. And I bring deliverance upon your life. Receive deliverance in Jesus' name. Son. They told you you will never marry. Today I divorced from spirit husband. Have your freedom now in Jesus' name. That which Christ spirit that is you know tormenting you and crying as a bed every night. Let that spirit die. The closed door by the enemy. The one that have said and imagined, and it happened in your life. In the name of Jesus, I open that door. I bring you out. 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 I command things to begin to work well for you. Say amen. Say amen. something miraculous all of you that people have been sitting on you kingdom of darkness sitting on your business sitting on your career I don't see the power in the name of Jesus I declare deliverance for you freedom for you freedom for you Lord show that young lady Show her sign. After today, you will receive a call. And that will mark the end of all these years of sorrow. All these years of worry. And your man, in that miracle, you are going home with miracle. You are going home with deliverance. You are going home with freedom. Spirit wife. Spirit husband. Spirit of untimely death. Witchcraft spirits. Your python spirit. You queen of heaven, catch fire. Come out now, come out, come out, come out. In the name of Jesus, I charge you. Pack all your load, come out of the life in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, fire. Deliverance is going on, serious deliverance. Wait for your turn, wait for your turn. All those things that are moving up and down your body, I command them to die. The cobwebs covering your face, I command it to disappear. And I pray for you that mouth also afflicted you by the wicked what be he. I command the weakness and the weakness whatsoever the devil has done I cancel the evil somebody here say I can fulfill my years Lord I stand by that word I pray let it be granted to everyone in Jesus name now spirit of untimely death Spirit of unkindly death. Catch fire. Come out and enter the Holy Spirit. Come out. Out. Oh, give me a sign. Give me a sign. All that dream and all that 
affliction left, right, front, and back, all that evil dream, and seeing dead, dead people, seeing dead, dead people, and eating with them, I command all of them to catch fire. You spirit, I say, come out. Every covenant, everything you have with them, by the blood of Jesus, mingled with the Holy Ghost fire, I command deliverance, deliverance, deliverance. Torah deliverance. Torah deliverance. I am just waiting for somebody here listening to me. Whatever they have projected to take away your life. As long as standing here today, whether they like it or not, no matter the power behind that evil. As I'm standing here, you will deliver from untimely death. Yes. Holy Ghost, do thorough work. Thorough. Thorough. Deal with the power. Scatter your kingdom. Scatter your oppression. Crush them. Crush them. Crush them. Crush them. You will go home totally free. Yes, deliverance is still going on. There is power. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power, wonder-walking power, deliverance power in the name of Jesus. There is power, wonder-walking power, Mighty power in the name of Jesus. There is power, salvation power, freedom power in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I lift up the name of Jesus over their life. And I command every yoke, every, every possession, demonic, demonic possession of any kind upon their life. By the authority in the name of Jesus, I bring deliverance upon them. Deliverance from untimely death. Deliverance from witchcraft. The spirit, deliverance from backwardness, deliverance from spirit, husband, spirit, what? Deliverance from causes, deliverance from every enemy attack. Receive your deliverance in Jesus' name. My daddy, every plant you have not planted in your life, it must be rooted up. Holy Ghost, search me these people again. Keep quiet. Holy Ghost, search me these people. Any demon that came here for assignment, followed any man or any woman for assignment, Father, judge that spirit. Search them, search them. Anything projected in them, Working against their progress, against their future, against their career, against their marriage, against their family, any cause. Holy Ghost, search me this before. 
Bring deliverance upon them in Jesus' name. Anything projected attack them. Projected. Anything sent as an arrow to work against them, against their prosperity, against their future. Holy Ghost, work against that arrow. Protito Lord, Huka Takata, Karazin Jelu Vika Huka, Rova Kasin de Licompre, Roviana Ruzi and Jeliko Peruskitena, Rakataya, Lescan de Lica Peruskitena. I demand, O oh God, deliverance for everyone. I command fire, Seluvika Taya, Jeluviana, Holy Ghost fire, 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 Rakazi Jeliko Preste, Kuria. Let there be deliverance, my people, in Jesus' name. Toro, Toro, Toro deliverance. Kingdom come by power, oh, by power. Kingdom come by power, oh, by power. Kingdom come by power, oh, the Holy Ghost. Kingdom come by power, oh, by power. Kingdom come by power, oh, by power. Come by power, by power. Kingdom come by power, oh, by power. Kingdom come by power, oh, the Holy Ghost. Kingdom come by power, oh, by power. Kingdom come by power, oh, the Holy Ghost. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Thy kingdom come, Father. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, thy will be done, thy will be done. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, thy kingdom come, Father, thy will be done. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, thy will be done, thy will be done. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Thy kingdom come, Father, thy will be done. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Thy will be done. Thy will. One more prayer now. You are going to pray, Father, thy kingdom come upon me. Thy will be done in my life. Watch us, watch out there. Watch out there, watch out there. Watch out there. Watch out down there, everywhere. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in my life. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done upon my soul, upon my spirit, upon my body. Ruva Kasu Viana. Ran Kasin de Lico Peruzi de Lico Pray. Ran Zen Jedico Prescuviana Ruzia. Thy kingdom come upon my spirit, upon my soul. By the Holy Ghost and power. Who's then Jenny come pray? Liberation, liberation, intervention, intervention, restoration, deliverance everywhere, everywhere.
Yes, I can see great deliverance, great visitation, great, great, great visitation. He delivered Paul and Silas. He delivered Paul and Silas. Our God who deliver Paul and Silas. He will surely deliver me. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. Our God will deliver. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh, you deliver all and silence. Our God who deliver all and silence. You are surely delivered. Hallelujah. Ah, you deliver all and silence. Our God who deliver all our silence, Yahweh Tovi deliver. Hallelujah. Sing it and believe it. It is your turn. Before it was Paul and Silas in the prison, and God came down and delivered them. Now it is your turn. Any prison, any kingdom, any power of your father's house, any marine power, any witchcraft power, any kingdom of darkness, any evil personality, say, come and be free, let me see. Your turn for deliverance has come. Now, as we are singing this song, deliverance will be going on. My turn, I'll sing this song. My, my change has come. My in Jesus' name, 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 in Jesus' name. My turn has come. My turn, my turn. In Jesus' name, my turn has come. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, you are tall, you are tall. In Jesus' name, 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 begin to receive your deliverance now. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus name. In Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name my turn has come before it was the turn of Paul and Silas it is our turn our turn in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name my turn has come 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 my turn in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, let the Lord know it is your turn to be free. Mm -hmm. 
In Jesus name, in Jesus name, my time has come, my time has come, my time has come, my time has come. in Jesus name, in Jesus name, in Jesus name, in Jesus name, in Jesus name. In Jesus' name. You are tired as long. You are tired. You are tired. You are tired. You are tired as long. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, my time. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. It is a time to be delivered, to be free, to be restored, to be free. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, my time has come, come, come. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen. Seeing that it is your time, your turn for definite change, deliverance, and total freedom from any kind of prison. Now I decree that everyone here must be delivered. Everyone here must be free. Now, those spirits that have been living inside you and giving them the last minute to pack all their property, all their sickness, all their affliction, all their rings, all their chain, all their hatred, all their anger, their bitterness, all the evil, all the immorality, and giving them the last chance I do not permit them to remain in your body as a house anymore and I do not permit them to enter any human being here I cover everybody with blood of Jesus now I order them to come out of your body at the count of three I enter the bottomless pit and be bound Three, one, pack, pack your look quickly, pack your affliction, pack your trouble, pack your hatred, pack your poverty, pack all the delayed marriage, pack all the moving objects, pack all the evil, the rings, the chains, pack the comments. Two. But on less speed, but on less speed, go, go, go. I bind you, I bind your power. I bind you, I bind your power. I cast up, but on less speed in Jesus' name. I cast you out, I cast you out, I cast you out, I cast you out. Receive your freedom in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. Precious Daddy, I present the entire congregation and all the brethren all over the world, wherever they may be now. Father, touch them.
by your power. Father, transform their life. Father, bring total deliverance from every evil influence, every evil possession, every enemy following the terrorizing them. Bring deliverance upon them in Jesus' name. That weakness and all the coffee, I cancel it now. That waste pain, I cancel it now. That miscarriages, whenever you take in, I cancel it now. And I command that typhoid, fever, malaria, parasite, be canceled in Jesus' name. That distant person, I cancel coronavirus in Jesus' name. I cancel that breast cancer be healed in Jesus' name. And I pray for you today. As we finish this service, you will receive a favor from above. And that which you have been crying, you have no money, favor, financial favor. And I pray for you. Your husband abandoned you. I decree that after this service, he must call you. I pray, righteous daddy, every problem they brought here, closed door, be opened. Hardship be cancelled. Disappointment and delay be cancelled. Father, make a way where there is no way for them in Jesus' name. I cancel that stuff, locust. I cancel HIV. I cancel that disease. Be healed in Jesus' name. My daddy, that battle, that battle that somebody has been going through in your family and somebody here in the place of where you are living and somebody in your office i decree victory for you in jesus name father overthrow their enemies defeat their enemies deliver them from the hands of the wicked ones in jesus name bless everyone touch everyone I pray for full restoration of everything lost in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Again. Shall we get seated? Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. My Lord Jesus, remember me, Father, Father in heaven. Remember me, remember me, remember me, my Lord Jesus, remember me, Father. Father in heaven, do it for me, do it for me, do it for me. All the glory will be your own, Father. Father in heaven. Father, Alpha and Omega, Daddy, the God of chosen, do it for us, do it for us, the glory of Jesus. And I miss nothing shall be possible with Jesus. And I miss nothing shall be possible with 
Our God in our midst, nothing shall be possible with our God in our midst, nothing shall be possible. With the Holy Ghost in our midst, nothing shall be possible. With Holy Ghost in our midst, nothing shall be impossible. A big amen to that song. Turn your Bible to Genesis chapter 20. Genesis. Chapter 20, verse 7. Now, therefore, the man, his wife, for he is a prophet, and he shall pray for thee, and thou shalt live. And if thou restore her not, know you not, that shall surely die. Thou and all that are thine. The point is restore. And look at it. Let's take Psalm 51. Psalm chapter 51. I read verse 12. Psalm 51. Verse 12. And he reads. Verse 12. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 22. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 22 but this is a people robbed and spoiled that all that are that, that are all of them snarling holes, and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey, and no deliverance. For a spoil, and no self restore. In Jewel chapter 2, Jewel chapter 2, Jewel. Jewel is after the book of Hosea. Hosea is after the book of Daniel. Daniel after the book of Matthew. Jewel chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 25. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the cankerworm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I send among you, and you shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Yeah. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord their God, and no else. And my people shall never be yeah. After today, shame will be cancelled. Yeah. After today, the glory shall be restored. 
whatsoever as was the glory taken from you stolen from you from Adam from your family it must come back to you so from these chapters and verses I'm talking to you on the topic there shall be restoration there shall be what? Restoration. Many people have lost one thing or the other, both physically and spiritually. And as a result, they are not what they should be in life, nor have the needed joy that move, that will make them to move forward. The joy that will strengthen them to move forward because they have lost a lot of things in life. Instead of joy, I make for the gladness of the heart. They are full of sorrow, sorrow. And sorrow is weakening every part of their life. And they are stuck. And they can't move forward. Because joy has been withered. What could have given them joy have been taken away? And you know the rule of joy. The book of Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10 says something concerning joy. Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. Let's see. The book of Nehemiah chapter 8. I read verse 10. I read Chapter 8, verse 10. Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portion unto them to whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord, neither be you sorry. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. Joy make for strength. The joy of the Lord. And if the things that make for joy have been taken away from you, you left with sorrow, and sorrow weakens you, instead of making for strength, you become weakened spiritually and otherwise. But I know that something will happen today. All that make for sorrow shall be no more. Strength shall come upon you and you shall have strength to move forward and to fulfill your years and ministry in Jesus' name. I said strength shall come upon you because joy shall be restored. The things that make for joy shall be restored. So take note. And for such a person to be what he or she should be, you need restoration of everything lost spiritually and otherwise. Are you hearing me? We shall no longer be take note. We shall no longer be if this evil of losing things have been done I want to let you know when there is dryness and lack of things in your life dryness when things that ought to be yours have been taken away you have lost it enemy has stolen it or destroyed it when those things are done and that comes in dryness there is something you understand when lack of these things and dryness occur, we shall no longer be flourishing. We shall no longer blossom or bear fruit or increase or multiply or have the needed things that we ought to have in life because they have been taken away and instead of moving forward you have a lot of sorrow that hinders you and weaken you but today, one thing I'm assuring you, even though that joy has been tampered, as we pray today at the end of this message, I'm assuring you, everything shall be restored. 
whatsoever dryness or whatsoever that causes that dryness, the Lord will bring them back. And that shall be joy again. So we shall pray. If you look at the book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 12, which I'll pray at the end of this message, you will go home with joy. You will go home with every lost glory in Jesus' name. Look at Jude, chapter 1. I read from verse 12. Jude, chapter 1. From verse 12, and it says, The wine is dried up, and the fig tree languishes, and the pomegranate tree, the palm tree also, and the apple tree, even all the trees of the field are withered because joy is withered away. For the sons of men give yourself and lament. Ye priests, how will ye ministers of the altar come, lie all night in sackcloth, in, in sackcloth, ye ministers of my God, for the meat offering and the drink offering is withholding from the house of your God. Sanctify ye a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the elders, and all the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord your God and cry unto the Lord at last. For the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand. Praise the Lord. As we pray, cry to the Lord today. I'm assuring you, God will restore everything lost. I am very sure as we pray today there shall be restoration. So today is the day of restoration of everything lost. So be ready to recover everything stolen, known and unknown to you, stolen by the enemy. As we pray to God in this program today, I'm assuring you that shall be what? Restoration. Remember, any day God decides on a particular matter, that matter count it was done. In this message, we are going to look or consider it into the full flowing of heavens. One, the reasons and area of restoration explained. Two, our expected response and the benefit. Let's go to point number one. The reasons and areas of Restoration explained. We all should know that as we run this race, Christian race, journey to heaven, race of righteousness, we use our spiritual and physical strength as well as the spiritual and physical resources. We receive from the Lord. We run the rest by these resources, whether spiritually or physical. Of things that God has given to us. And you need those things because those things will make for joy. And joy will make for what? For strength. See, when people are giving testimony, you see people clapping and rejoicing. It encourages others and even encourages you giving the testimony. And so when God is giving you something, it makes for joy. And that joy goes a long way to keep you moving on your journey to heaven at last. If you look at the Bible, praise the Lord. In 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 15, and it says, chapter 12, and verse 15, and I read, 
And I will gladly spend and be spared for you. Though the more abundantly I love you, the less I be loved. The point is this. As a child of God, as you run this thread, there is something you spend. Am I right? It's either you spend your strength spiritually or physical. And it's either you spend your resources spiritually or what? Physical. And as you spend, if there is no restoration, you will be lacking. Am I right? And therefore, today, no matter in the course of this race, no matter what you have lost, the things which you have spent, the things that were stolen by the enemy, they must restore. Because you will understand that if a motor vehicle is running the fuel, at a point in time, that fuel will finish. Am I right? But what is the thing that keeps the motor vehicle moving? Answer me. Does it remain forever? Even if the devil have not stolen what belongs to you sometime, it is what you spend and spend and spend in running this race like fuel. We do what? Finish. Which needed what? Restoration. Refuel. Sometimes you use your money to run this race. If you use your physical strength to run this race. And as you run this race, before you know it, sometimes you are becoming uh, warm out, old, because you are spending and spending and what? I didn't hear you again. You are spending and spending and spending. And you need it to be refueled restored he see you today all of you have you know spent your spiritual resources and physical resources which god gave to you you spend and spend my friend today there shall be restoration i don't know what you have spent there but i know that this is a day that everybody will go home as a brand new vehicle Every good body will go holy feet. Everything you have lost, even your pastor here today, if there is anything that I have spent and spent, I will see it today. Can somebody say amen? So many have spent their talents, their money, and are getting weak. I said it's some are getting weak as a result of old age. You know that some people that started this rest 30 years ago, revival, they gave every day and night that spending, that spending, praying and fasting and spending their spiritual strength and talent. And now some of them are getting old. I want to ask you this question. Those people should they be warm out and just you know and give up like that? And Sammy now is see you that you have labor over these years. The Lord will renew your strength. Is see you every area of your weakness, the Lord will overhaul you today. I want to ask you one question. Who gave you heart? Who gave you kidney? Who gave you liver? Who gave you brain? Who gave you the immune system? Who gave you the bone? All that you have physically, God gave it to you. All you have spiritually, that faith, that gift, of healing of signs and wonders and miracle gift of wisdom and knowledge who gave it to you even that money you have who gave it to you now if you as a result of spending and spending at this age now and you are getting too old and you say well you are telling story of what happens on years if anybody comes around they said if it were before 
while you are still alive, God forbid. Anybody comes around and says, how are you, sir? He said, if it was before. Why? I spent and spent and become old and warm out. What did I tell them now? 20 years ago, if you know how we run revival, what happened to there? Has revival, has it, has it come to an end? Answer me now. Why are you telling us story of 20 years ago? 30 years ago? Anybody comes around you, you'll be telling them, you know, you people should do it before, if it was before. God forbid. You know what God told Joshua? He said, Thou art old and we're stricken in age, but there are many long to be what? Possessed. Is he telling that people will possess? He said, You, he see Joshua, <laughs> you will, I don't recognize, I don't respect the old age because what they need is a renewal. And they go on and possess your possession. He see you to death. New liver shall be given to you. New heart shall be given to you. New kidney shall be given to you. New brain shall be given to you. New bone shall be given to you. Every organ that is worn out or damaged or that is weak, instead of going to hospital, God will give you a new organ instantly. You that is there saying, well, you are just managing your life and everything is steeped and you are walking like old man. God will overhaul you and make you a brand new person. That at the end of this very program, you see yourself jumping up like David. So, are you old? Have you spent so much strength in running this race? Now, all, that, all your body systems are kicking. Your heart is kicking. Your kidney is just kicking. Your bone is kicking. Your liver is kicking. Your immune system is getting weak. My friend, who made them? He will give you a brand new one. So, I don't know what you have spent. You spend your money. Oh, the door of heaven shall be open. Money shall come from above. He will replenish you. Whatever your loss, will restore them in Jesus' name. So I've lost many things as a result of the enemy's attack. Attack in the dream. And sometimes physically. Sometimes, you know, as a strong child of God. Then you have been removing your spiritual strength, attacking you, making to be worried, seducing you, weakening you, and doing a lot of things so that you will not be who you should be. You will be losing the appetite, the strength, the gift, the, the things that was given to you as a result of attack. Enemy attacking you to, to steal what God has given to you. And as a result of this attack, you can't pray again. You can't preach again, you can't go to morning cry again, you can't come to service on time again, you can't even come on service at all, at all. And the things of the world are more fascinating to you. My friend, listen to me, something will be done today. Everything stolen by that enemy, whether in the spiritual or physical, it must come back to you. If you look at the book of John chapter 10, John chapter 10, verse 10, I want to show you something. Enemy is not your friend. Devil is not your friend. Demons are not your friends. All those unbelievers that seduce you, they are not your friends. Seduce you to go after money, seduce you to commit immorality, seduce you to become, you know, to be talkative. My friend, they are not your friend. They are doing something. In the Bible said in John chapter 10, verse 10, hey, the thief cometh not, but for to kill, to steal, and to destroy. They have come to do what? To kill, to steal their faith, to steal their righteousness, to steal their zeal. Your commitment, your consecration 
to receive, to receive that, uh, you know, the, the fervency, the gift that God had given to you to do his work. But today, something good is coming your way. Jesus said, I am come that them I have life and have it more abundantly. Restoration is coming your way. Somebody should say amen. If you look at Matthew chapter 13, 28, when you begin to be weak and begin to see some strange things in your life, don't begin to blame God and blame your pastor and blame the members. Don't say that. You begin to find out that you know you can't pray, they can't do, they can't do the work you ought to do, and you begin to complain. Don't do that and say it's my pastor, it's my sister, it's my brother, it's um, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's my church, or you say it's God. Don't say that. Praise the Lord. If you look at Matthew chapter 13, verse 28, look at your Bible. And he said, and I read. And he said unto them, please look at, let's read from verse 20, 24, so you can get it very well. And another parable, he, he, another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But why men slept, his enemy came and do what? Came and so tars among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared what? The tars also. So the servant of the household came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou so good seed? In thy field. From whence then had he passed? What happened? And he said unto him, An enemy has done this. You see that weakness? Enemy has done this. You can't pray again. Enemy has done this. You can't fast again. Enemy has done this. And in fact, you can't love people, you can't even have for the things of God. Enemy has done this. You used to go to morning, cry, and preach in the boss, you can't do them again. Enemy has done this. And you know, you used to, you know, love bread and children of God and love the things of God. It's no more there. Enemy has done this. Don't blend that. He said, ah, this brethren, everybody in the church is my problem. And, um, you know, pastor is my problem. Uh, in fact, you don't know God, God has abandoned you. How are you blaming us for what the enemy has done? How are you finding your wife for what the enemy has done? How are you becoming discouraged for what the enemy has done? You should not do that anymore. Remember, it is the enemy's work and not human beings' work because of what they are going through. Stop blaming anybody. What you need to do, you, I will show you. Go for restoration at the hand of the living God. And it shall surely come to pass. Thank God today is that day. And I happily announce to you that shall be what? That is your hope now. After the restoration today, you find that say preaching in all the buses. You find that you pray, you love prayer, you pray without ceasing. After the Lord has visited you today, you find joy joy of the Lord is my strength. I'm showing you after the visitation today, everything the enemy has stolen from you shall be what? And some in now. So get ready. Are you hearing me? Many can no longer pray. Get ready. Something will happen today. 
Many can no longer fast. Get ready. Many can no longer do night VG. Get ready. Many cannot share testimonies again. Get ready. Something will be done today. No, if they evangelize because of what the enemy has done. Many cannot even come to service on time. The zeal is running down. I want to let you know, some come but have no more joy in fellowship. Enemy, enemy has done this. Sometimes the enemy will make them to be blaming one another for what he has done. But thank God today the Lord has invited you and said there shall be war. Restoration. I do not know what you used to enjoy before. Some have lost their peace. Are you hearing me? Unity in the family. Love for the brethren and for the things of God has been tampered. Enemy has attacked their love. The unity, the peace. Now they're full of you know, sorrow, murmuring, fault finding, complaining. Something will happen today. I want to let you know don't look at me as the cause of your problem. Don't look at that brother or sister. Don't even blame God. You know what happened to the children of Israel in the wilderness? I know you know this very well. Whenever they have anything, attack of the enemy, they will blame Moses and Aaron. Sometimes they will even blame God. That was their undoing. That was, that's why many of them could not make the promised land. Instead of seeing what the enemy has done, they are blaming Moses and Aaron. They are even blaming God. And they suffer for it. That and Abu and Abira. And uh, Miriam also. Even Aaron. Instead of seeing that this thing that is happening to them, that enemy has done this or done that. They were blaming Moses and Aaron. But when they look up unto God, Solution will come. You see today, solution will come. Do you believe it? I said some people can no longer do to think to do the things of God. They can't go for morning cry or evening cry of what of what evangelism, nor even invite others. Do you know? Before, if you go around Lagos. You will get more than 20 invitations coming from, a choosing, from choosing members. Everywhere you go. That's why the devil and their agent conspired and they painted us evil so that those things will stop. An enemy has done this. Because at that time, <laughs> everywhere was empty. Market was empty. When we have service, market will be empty. When we have service, the road will be dried. Enemy started, say, you know, mapping a strategy. What are we going to do to these people? Let us cook a news, cook story, and find them, and weaken their faith. My friend, we are returning back to what whom we used to be. Watch this place; it might not contain us in this kind of service anymore, because the Lord had decided. To bring restoration. That former glory shall be what? Restored. Do you believe it? When the enemy saw that you know, the church is about to you know, pick extra rest, he came with Corona. And then Corona, um, <laughs> can you imagine? Corona becomes an instrument to, to, to close the church so that everybody will become weak and weak and nobody will go to church again but God now is he not healing Corona today answer me now so the close church and say you should you remain 20 or, 20 or 30 so that everybody will become very weak and tired in serving God enemy is wicked 
but there must be restoration today. Will you hear me? Everything the enemy has tampered with, God whom I serve will bring them back to us. Spiritually, physically, materially, financially, academically, there shall be restoration. the Lord I want to let you know some people hardly come to church with new convert as I told you which they cannot do before many have lost the zeal faith, power gifts and fruit of the spirit and some because they have offended the Lord he allowed those things to happen in their business, in their head. They allow those things to happen in their finance. I don't know what you are going through now. No more sex. No more, no more business again. You can't sell anything. The door closed up. The business just crumbling. Nothing, not no more profit. So many things working against their business and some people are getting sick every day because they have offended the Lord and the enemy had his way and began to wreck them, attack them. One thing must be done. I don't know if you are among those that offended him and the Lord kept quiet and the enemy helped to forward there. Look at Zechariah chapter 1. Let's see verse 14. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 14. And he says, So the angel that come with me said unto, unto me, Cry thou, saying, Thou said the Lord of hosts, I am jealous for Jerusalem and for Zion with a great jealousy and I am very so displeased with the heathen that are at ease for I was but a little displeased what happened and the heathen did what and they helped and they helped for all their affliction God was not happy and the heathen increased the affliction on you and began to torment you Attack you through dreams, attack you physically, attack your money, attack your head, attack what you have, and you begin to lose them one by one. My friend, God is jealous of you. That is why He has brought you here today to restore everything stolen from you by the heathen, by the enemy, in Jesus' name. So I don't know what you have lost. You lost your house, you lost your husband, you lost your wife, you lost your children, you lost anything, your certificate, you lost anything, your business, whatever you have lost, God is able to bring them back. Do you hear me? If you look at the Bible in Joel chapter 2, Joel chapter 2, let's see, I read verse 20. 25 chapter 2 and verse 25 and I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten the canker worm the caterpillar the palmer worm my great army which I send among you and you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that had not had dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be. After the dealing with you today, after restoring everything the enemy has taken today, who God allowed because of your evil in time past, as I made their way today and pray, God will restore everything, and the shame and reproach your life shall be cancelled. How many of us remember? the testimony of our sister today. He said while he was living in first me and first you and the, I was very poor. Nothing was in the house. 
enemies were doing what? They were mocking her, making caricature of her. And in fact, even though he's better than them, but they are mocking her. You see, my sisters and brothers, after the prayer today, you know what happened to her in one of the programs? Time for God to bless you. And he said the house was what? The house was furnished that even her could not understand. To, to know whether it's, if I was asking whether she made the mistake. But this house, you look at the door and look at the padlock, whether this house belongs to somebody else. Because everything has been restored. Everything, the house has been equipped. Everything has been fit. And in fact, they will say to, to her ch children, uh, hope this is our house. That night, you could not sleep. Well, look around. Ah, everywhere we we're, were furnished. Look around. And, you know, because of joy, I couldn't sleep. And then all those people that were mocking her became ashamed. He see you today. All the people mocking you over the years because of condition. After the dealing of God Almighty, you are alive today. All of them shall be ashamed. You will never be ashamed anymore in Jesus' name. He see you. He knew that once you are a billionaire, a billionaire, and you are so lifted up, and now trial has come, and now the enemy has done one thing or the other, and they are mocking you and laughing at you. The former glory. Listen to me that I was lost. I want to assure you. Let that glory shall be better than the former. I don't know the height you were before. God will leave you, lift you above, above, above that height in Jesus' name. There shall be what? Yes, yes. You see, after the prayer today, heaven will it command everything to favor you you know in time of restitution all that have stolen what belongs to you you don't know will bring them back to you say i took this one from you in the dream i took this one from you i took this one from you when you're sleeping i took this one from you when you don't know now it's time we are commanded to do what stop In time past, no say restore. But God has brought me here now to order them to do what? Restore. You see, everything taken from you. Today, they will hear my voice. How many of you believe? When that sister came to church, and then heard my voice. The voice followed her home in the night. And it was shown the, the wish that was tormenting her family. I'm talking of her daughter sister. And he became a bed. He said, this is the cause of your problem. And it was slain. After today, I'm assuring you, enemy that are hiding and tormenting you, and stolen everything you have, they shall be slain. They shall be discovered. They shall be arrested. You will enjoy victory in Jesus' name. My people, chosen people, my people shall never be shamed. My goal is satisfy you. It will pull laughter in your mouth. The joy of the Lord is in you. When you shall be giving your testimony here, we will beg you to allow us to hear something because that day you will try to do dance and try to talk. We say, I beg, I beg, hold on. 
Are you hearing me? That day you will want to sing. You know, when sister came, he said, I want to sing. I was, Did the chief sing? She sang, am I right? In your own case, you will sing a new song. There shall be world restoration. Sister, restoration is coming your way. All the wasted years. An enemy is mocking you and says, See what you have done to yourself. The glory shall be restored. Everything they have sat upon, destroyed, taken from you, consciously, unconsciously to you, as all that is given to them, all of them bringing them back to you, bring them back to you, bring them back to you, and you will possess your possessions in Jesus' name. That shall be what? Let's go to point number two. I believe you understood me. What matter is the understanding? Today is today. Are you hearing me? And so we're looking at the second point. Our expected response and the benefits. We should identify the areas we need restoration. And cry out to the Lord in this program to do what? To restore. Praise the Lord. You see, you should understand this part. Why we're coming to service this morning? Something happened. Why we are praying before? We never pray today that there should be no rain. And because we do not stop rain, rain has its free course. Rain started falling immediately. Because while we are praying, we didn't mention rain. So, what will hinder rain from falling? We didn't tell God that rain, we don't want you, you that you should keep rain away from us. Therefore, rain saw it and saw that these people did not, they don't have any problem with me. Then it started falling immediately. But if we mention it in prayer, there will be no rain. Praise the Lord. Therefore, discover the area of your need and mention it in war. You will know that God answers prayers. Whatever you need in this life, let me give you this revelation. If you want to ask somebody for anything, first of all, ask it from God. Do you hear me? Anything you need, ask it from who? God is the owner, is the giver. If you don't ask God and ask the person, he will not give it to you. Sometimes they will make mockery of you. Do you hear me? Any area you fail to cover up in prayers, whether you are concerning your children, concerning your wife, concerning your husband, concerning uh, your career, concerning what any area you fail to cover up, the enemy will just enter there because you didn't pray over it. That's why he said, pray without season. Whatsoever you want to do in life, cover it up with what? Prayers. Don't say, God understands. God said, ask anything in my name. What happened? Don't ever say, God, you understand. Therefore, I don't need to pray. I'm going out today. And you understand that I'm going out. Thank you, sir. He never told him I'm going out. Preserve me from all evil. Leave me not into temptation. And to deliver me from all evil. Hence, you didn't tell him. Whatever you see that day, you do what? Take. Because the commandment is what? Ask. Discover the area of what? You are need in this prayer. Any area you are lacking. When we are going to pray, do what? Mention it to the Lord. The Lord will bring it to pass. I didn't mention what? Which area you need restoration? You can no longer pray. You need restoration. You can no longer preach. You need restoration. You can no longer win souls. You can no longer invite people to church. You can no longer do morning cry. You can no longer fast. You are not have any interest in things of God. You need what? Restoration. No more zeal. 
no more commitment, no more compassion, no more love, no more righteousness. That's it from who? I'm not hearing you again. No husband, no wife. The, the love is broken to pieces. The husband is on the way. Children are where what? Wife is on the way, on, on her way. My friend, ask God, bring God's word. But deliver children from wayward-ness. Their business closed up and nothing is working again. Tell the Lord, you see my business. <laughs> I want to ask you today, restore it word back. I want to see my business flourishing. You can no longer bring people to service. When you go to talk, they say, come on, let's go to church. They say, shut up your mouth. Because you didn't tell the Lord that this area must be what? Restored. When you tell the Lord, the Lord will talk to them. Before you speak, the Lord will take, take, take over them. And he will tell you, are you going to there? Let's go. And when they come, they will be blessed. And they will thank you. Praise the Lord. So, this, discover what? The area you need what? Let me even ask you a question. Is there any area you need restoration? Are you sure? Before you used to have millions in account. Now you don't have cup again. What do you pray? You remain like that. I'm not, I'm not hearing you. Before you used to import 5, 10, 20 containers. Now you don't even have one matches or container. What are you going to pray? You remain in that condition. I'm not hearing you again. Restoration. People were patronizing you before. And you don't used to own anybody before. But now you are owing so many people. If nobody is coming near you again. People are avoiding you. What do you do? I'm not hearing you. You have lost favor. Favor human beings. And favor with everybody. People hated you. For nothing. What do you need today? Things are not working well. No money at all at all. And you know that originally God gave Adam all things. Even if you have not enjoyed anything before. For the fact that God gave Adam all things. And you are the offspring. And even the offspring of Abraham. That you should enjoy all things. You have nothing. Now all things taken from Adam. All of them must be what? See you. You need what? And if nobody is saying restore, you also pray and say, God, do what? In Isaiah chapter 42. Let's read again. And if you think you said it doesn't work, I will say it today. Isaiah 42, verse 22. And I read. Verse 22. But now, Isaiah 42, verse 22. But this is a people robbed. Kai. People did what? Robbed. And what? Spoiled. And there are all of them snared in holes, that trap in holes. And they are hid in pleasing houses. Kai! Condition of people. Even so many people here. Trapped. Hidden hole. Put in place by the enemy. Spoiled. Now, look at what happened there. And he says, They are for a prey. Oh. And no deliverance. Enemies are ready to eat them all. They are ready to be meat for all. And no deliverance them. But then look at what happened. For a spoil and not say what? Hi. Nobody, just one voice. Let's talk. And everything will be over. But nobody saying what? I'm not hearing you again. Nobody saying what? Today, in your prayer, you will tell God what? Uh, it's like you're sleeping. I said today you will the Bible said no say what now in your prayer today what do you do if 
even if you don't know how to say it, I will speak on your behalf. I'll say it on your behalf. I will stand here and say, Restore, 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 restore the glory lost from Adam in Jesus' name. So get ready, get ready. So as I too, your pastor, will be restore everything today. God will restore all to me. Every backsliding souls, everyone, everyone that is, you know, that has been taken by the enemy, captured by the enemy, I will say to the Lord today, what? Restore them back to faith. Backsliders, they went away. Many people that are not in effect, and then something are eating them up. I will pray today. Anything lost, any glory, whatsoever God has given to us that they are tampered with, I will say to them, Restore. Is the Lord. And we will cry to God to restore all we have lost. And the Lord will hear and do exactly today. Are you hearing me? I think the Lord will hear and do exactly today. He will restore all the years because he made a promise the years that look cost caterpillar palmer one canker one has has it is said i will do what i will restore <laughs> so what we need to do is to, to, to do what say god has made a promise he's waiting for you what do you say what is the promise of god I will restore all the years the locals, the palm one, the kaka one, caterpillar has eaten. Now he's waiting for you to say something. What do you say? No matter what you have lost, spiritually and otherwise, our God who allowed them to happen has power to do what? To restore all. You lost your head. I hate it very bad. You have lost peace. You have lost the material blessings. You have lost the you know, financial. You have lost the spiritual blessings. Oh, there. God said, I will restore. And then he said, but the, the unfortunate thing, no, no says what? No, nobody saying restore. But today, I have told you what to say. And I will say it. And God will do it. Because God cannot lie. Look at the Bible. In Jude chapter 2 again. Jude chapter 2. Jude. Because I'm rounding up now. Very shortly. There must be restoration. Whether the devil like it or not. You don't need to like it. It must come to pass. Chapter 2, verse 25. And I will restore to you the years the locust has eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I send among you, and you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that had done one trustly with you. And my people shall never be. I said, what I'm interested in now is, look at it again, verse 25. And I will. That's what I'm interested. God has made a promise. He's waiting for somebody to say what? So, He has power to restore everything. If you look at Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27. Jeremiah 32, verse 27. And I read, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Is it too hard for God to give you new heart, new liver, new kidney, new womb, new immune system? Is it too hard for God to restore the children that was, you know, miscarried? Is it too hard? Even if you don't have a child, is it too hard for God to give you a child? Is it too hard for God to give you promotion or fresh employment? 
having lost in the previous ones, is it too hard for God? Is it too hard for God to connect you to favor you financially? Answer me. He said, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? And he said, What is impossible with man? With God, all things are possible. He see you. You are going home with your miracle. If you look at Isaiah chapter 43, Isaiah 43 verse 10, and I read 43 verse 10, ye are my witnesses, says the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me, and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, nor shall there be after me. I, even I, I am the Lord, and beside me, there is no savior. I have declared, I have saved, I have shewed. When there was no strange God among you, therefore ye are my witnesses, says the Lord, that I am God. Yeah, before the day was, I am He, and there is I can deliver out of my hand. I will walk, and who shall let it? Who will revise the work of God? Who will hinder God? Who will oppose God? Devil, demons, witches and wizards, occult men and women. They will stop God. Can they stop God? Therefore, nobody can revise his work. No power can hinder him. He see you. Today there shall be war. So no one will live here the same. There shall be restoration. Of all we have lost, and we shall also receive whatever we need to move forward in life and to make heaven at last. Not only restoration, whatever that need to move you forward, that make you to have joy, keep on moving, running this race, being an encouragement to others, God will give it to you. Are you hearing me? It's see you. God will give you sound head God will give you husband God will give you wife God will give you children he see you God will give you wonderful employment God will give you connection are you hearing me he see you God will give you all the spiritual virtues you have lost Faith is coming back to, to you. Love is coming back to you. Righteousness shall be your portion. Zeal in the things of God shall be yours. In fact, so winning shall be your portion. In see you. The grace for prayerfulness shall come again. Faith, uncheckable faith, shall be the portion of somebody here. In see you. You are going up higher in your spiritual life. You will never go under in Jesus' name. I don't know where they have displaced you. God whom I serve will place you in position, in power. I don't even know the enemy that are rising and walking against you. My God will defeat them. He will give you victory over the in Jesus name if God be for you so much will answer me now some of the people here they have lost hope they say that I used to be somebody before everything finished and because of that they have lost hope my friend listening to me Today will mark the beginning of restoration. I don't know what the enemy has done. And you are saying, can I be able to make it again? I'm now telling you straight away you are first. You will make it. I don't know where they have ganged up against you. And say, come and pass. Let me see. God will blind your enemies. 
and you will go forward and possess your possessions in Jesus name all the kingdom all the power all the wishes and wisdom all the spirits that have been standing against you and robbing you in subconsciousness in the dream any hand that stretched against you shall wither for yourself you see you they have no any option and to restore whatever glory taken from you taken from your children taken from your family taken from your head anything taken from you today there was restoration any spirit sitting on you and say come and marry come and make it let me see and then you are getting old and i say yes that is that's how you today that split shall be crushed the law will give you victory has he the power let me ask you this way does god have power to do this i don't know don't cry again stop crying are you hearing me don't be sorrowful what you need to do is to do say god restore it is right let, don't let me hear you kind of complaining you have something go before the lord with all boldness and say god do what restore he see you i will hear your testimonies i don't know who is dealing with you you are gathering and are stealing they are gathering and are scattering oh today god will teach them lesson so what you are going to do let me begin to round up sit down let me round up discover the area of your need area you need restoration you need promotion you need blessings discover it what you are going to do is when you discover it look at matthew chapter 7 7. matthew chapter 7 verse 7 ask and it shall be given unto you seek and you shall find knock and it shall be opened unto you for everyone that asks get received how many for everyone including who for everyone that asked minus nobody if you will join the company of those who shall say restore do this for me do that for me do that for me god will do something for you god will restore what you lost remember i say nobody that can live here the same you are going to go home with joy of the Lord. I will see a group of people going home today, jubilating. And as I finish prayers today, listen, don't ask how it will happen. God will command every kingdom that has tampered with your glory from Adam to restore every kingdom back to you. So, as for you, there must be miracle in your life. There must be blessings in your family. Promotion, employment, visas, and permanent stay, victory and citizenship. Everything you are looking for marriage, husband, children, wife. It is your portion now. When we cross over, we don't need anything like that again once we drop this body and go to glory we don't need those things this is where we need them and god gave them to us free all time unfortunately adam because of carelessness now lost everything and we're suffering the effect but thank god jesus has come for restoration therefore we are going home with what in john chapter 14 john chapter 14 I read from verse 13. John 
chapter 14 verse 13 and whatsoever you shall ask in my name that will I do that the father may be glorified in the son if you shall ask anything in my name what happened who said it can he lie all right let me round up there now assurance i'm giving to you what you ask today god will give it to you so is there anything you have to ask is there anything at all at all are you ready to ask god something Some of you, when we say ask God something now, you say, God, if you give me only one child, you're okay. God, if you give me only one, one, if you give me only, only husband, I'm okay. God, if you give me only money, I'm okay. What do you mean by that kind of play? If you get a husband without children and without a home, without money to take care of, it, what will husband do to you? Some people say, God, if you just give me a car, I'm okay. What do you mean by okay? So you're not by fuel. I don't know what they are for the point I'm making. Some people say, if you give me sand the head, I'm okay. So you die of you die of hunger. Why are you putting such prayer? Eh? Some people when they pray, they say, God, if you don't hear me, just hear me. That's what I'm hear me. I'm, if you hear me, I'm okay. If he hear you, that is when you begin to need so many things to take care of your family. Therefore, mention everything you need. Some people, you just came here with content, you know what you came here for. Okay. Mention everything you need. Are you hearing me? Uh, God, if you be me, you know, open door my business, I'm okay. So your business, you become you be after giving you business, you become sick. She will give you business, give you sound health. Are you hearing me? Give you protection, give you long life. Pray, shun them. Anywhere you stop, there, that's your limitation. Praise the Lord. My Bible tells me that all these are ours. According to First Corinthians chapter three verse twenty one, he said, "Therefore let no man glory in men, for all things are." And he said, "But my God shall supply all your needs, Amen. and God bless everyone in all things." How many things? And you, you are just asking for healing. Limited everything, only healing. Limited everything, only just husband, wife. My friend told them, all that Adam took away must come back to us. Yeah. The lost glory, all the blessings I need. So that when we are finished here, I will drop it here and go my way. Praise the Lord. And it will be a provocation to sin as to repent. If you don't have the man, go to tell them, come and come, come and be, you know. They will come and come to church and, and they say but to, to, to be like you now he see you God will bless you so when you invite people they will see the glory of your life in Jesus name yeah. so let me begin to round up for those who are sinners and backsliders if you are a sinner if you are once a believer and you are backsliding from faith, you should repent of your sins, confess them to the Lord, and promise God no more. Believe that Jesus Christ died for you, shed his precious blood for you, and was buried. And on the third day, he rose again for your justification. Believe it. Reject the for him and his deeds invite Jesus into your heart to be a Lord your personal Savior the Bible made us to understand if the Son therefore shall make you free 
you shall be fully in. And therefore, a Christian is not a sinner. Not a Christian. Look at your Bible. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. First John chapter eight. He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned it from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested that they might destroy the works of the devil. Verse 9. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for the seed of God remained in him. And he cannot sin because he is born of God. But stand, in this the children of God are manifest and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, and he that loveth not his brother. So it is very certain, verse 8 says, a sinner is not a Christian. And a Christian is not a sinner. Therefore, such your love. There is something I want you to understand. Sin. Why do we talk about this sin? This is the root cause of the, the problem of humanity. And if we must be free from those problems, then we are going to deal with the cause of the problem. And the cause of the problem is what? No wonder the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto you. Now, you may be asking, What is sin? This sin that is the cause of the problem of humanity. What is it? In 1 John chapter 5, verse 17. 1 John chapter 5, verse 17. Unrighteousness is sin. Anything that is not righteousness is sin. If you, are, if you are, reject Jesus, the Lord as a personal savior, you are the worst sin, sinner. You are the worst sin. Unbelief. Unforgiveness is a terrible sin. You must forgive and go with it. You need to search your life. I want to let you know selfishness is sin. It's a terrible hatred, anger. Pride, bitterness, keeping malice, lusting after evil things, covetousness, love of money, love of the world. All sin, unfaithfulness, insincerity. These are terrible sins. Disobedience. All these are terrible things. You need to search your life. If you are into these things, deal with them before you ask God to do other things for you. I want to remind you that fighting is a terrible thing. Speaking evil of other people. Complaining, cursing people, watching I do, making I do, having I do in your heart. Anything that takes the place of God, you can't do away with without. You must repent and renounce them and promise God no more. Going to the doctors to make sure. Going to them 
for divination, for parity, consulting the dead is a terrible thing. Going for that's sin. You don't need those things at all at all. Being a native doctor to practice such things is if you are into them, whether well, marine agent of any kind repent. If you belong to secret court, secret court, or open court, marine court, which court, local court, international court, any kind of court is in campus court. Gather their property, burn them. Have nothing to do with them anymore. I mean, you are ways. If you have their book, burn it. Burn them. We have seven book of Moses. Any kind of book or ring or chain. Whatever I give you to you, burn them complete. Don't use them anymore. I don't know the evil you are into. I into stealing, picking pocket, I'm robbery, burglary, or fraud. You do black people, white people. You do. You do government, you do people. Repent and say, Lord, I am sorry. I will do them no more. If you're a criminal, stealing money from people I want to give us here, we don't need it. Take your money back. Don't give us money. I mean, you are ways. The righteous shall not hear the kingdom of God. If you are among those people, I into masturbation, fornication. Homosexual, lesbianism, into gay. Repent and say, Lord, I am sorry. Don't do them anymore. If you entertain evil thoughts, immoral thoughts, renounce it. Your heart is the temple of God. Make sure you maintain purity. If I a prostitution, private prostitution, you, that means you are doing it while you are living with your parents, hiding. Or public pro prostitution, you have a place where you put cotton. And who pay you? Who reach? Repent to that place. What can you come out? And stop that private that's wickedness. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And if you destroy that temple, God will destroy you. I want to remind you. If you are patronizing the prostitute as a man, that is wickedness. Repent to that and say, Lord, I am sorry. If you are committing abortion, that's wickedness. If you set the drug, you encourage it, that's wickedness. If you are into child trafficking, that means you are selling children. You have a place where they are born for you and you sell them. That's wickedness. Send them to ritual killing, kill us. You say them to. That's gross wickedness. Don't give us your money. We don't need it. I mean, you are ways. I don't. Ritual killing, kidnapping and killing. 
any kind of killing. No murderer has eternal life abiding in him or her. Amen your ways. I don't know the wickedness I into. Repent. Stop the wickedness. And God will show you mercy. Those people who are giving bribe, taking bribe, extorting money from people because of their uniform, that is sin. Or because of their office, their position, nobody comes there, they must force money out, whether you like it or not. That's extortion. Those into fighting and quarreling, disobedient to their husband, stubbornness, beating their wife, fighting and quarreling with people. I mean, you are ways. Search your life. People working for you, you don't pay them. Pay them. Or you don't do the work, you collect salary. That is stealing. You must work to make the company to, to have profit, benefit to pay you. I mean, you are ways. Are you just smuggling? You must repent and say, no more. That's sin. Those that take snuff, smoke cigarettes in their hand, cocaine, heroin, selling it or buying it for people, working where they're manufacturing them, that's sin. Repent and promise God no more. All those people that are taking alcoholic drinks, white bimbo, broko to beer, hot drinks, local or foreign one, repent and say, Lord, I am sorry. Don't touch them anymore. I mean their ways. I don't know the wickedness I into. Now is the acceptable time. Tomorrow may be too late. As you hear this word, harden not your heart as in the dog provocation. When they provoked him and he killed 23,000 in one day in the wilderness. If you look at your Bible, in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the righteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of the self of mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards. No revelers, no extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. People like this, the Bible said, they shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Are you into this kind of practices? That means you don't want to enter heaven. Repent today and ask for the mercy of God so that your sins will forgive you. I don't know the wickedness. Those that marry and divorce, those that into polygamous marriage, your second wife or third wife, or you left your first husband to marry other, or maybe you are sent away a wife to marry other ones. You must bring your wife back, you must go back to your husband. And if your second wife or third wife, you have no husband, pack your load, leave that house, otherwise you are married to hellfire. And if a man that married them three, you must remove the second and third wife, return your first wife. As long as it's your first wife indeed. The Bible said in Matthew chapter 19, verse 4. And he answered and said unto them, Have you not read that he which made them at the beginning, made them male and female, and said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twin shall be one flesh. Wherefore, there are no more twin but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Marriage. In between a man and a woman until the dead do your part. If you made a mistake, correct it. And if a man hijack you on the road without the consent of your, your parents, your relation, you are into sin. You are living with the person as husband and wife. You must amend that way. If you hijack somebody's lady on the road, you are living with a person as husband and wife, 
you must go and meet that people because that is evil so you can be able to amend your ways correct that kind of error and marry as it should be and hence you are married to that person already go and pay the dowry and see the consent of the parents amend their ways and listen to me if you are among those women that paint their hands and paint their legs and paint their mouth paint their eyes, paint their face you don't need that anymore or young men that do Jericho rough hair, scattered hair and play the hair like a woman, don't do that anymore or those that put extra finger extra eye, extra nose attachment, weave on, permanent, earrings jewelry, bango you make up your body, that is sin you don't need makeup or you're a young man that wear beads and chains and cross what are you doing with those things? You're just deceiving yourself you don't need those things at all, at all Christ is no longer on the cross cause, Christ, cross is a cause and the Bible says cause is everyone that hang on three and Christ did not die on the cross so we can wear a cross is that you might believe in him which has done for you at the cross of Calvary. Amen. I mean, those that dress expose their chest, their armpit, their tummy, their waist, expose their nakedness, expose their body. A Christian is not a seducer. And a seducer is not a Christian. Amen. I your ways. My Bible tells me in Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 30. When they are spoiled, what are they to do? They go after painting, after ornament. Whenever you want to spoil, you begin to make up. Likewise, men, I mean, you are ways. And if a woman wearing trousers dressed like a man, a man dressed like a woman wearing skirt and blouse, my Bible tells me in Deuteronomy 22, verse 5, and that is abomination. Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. Twenty-two, verse five. The woman shall not wear that which pertains to a man. Not to the man put on woman's garment. For all that do so, are abomination unto the Lord thy God. They are what? Abomination. Revelation twenty-one, verse eight. Revelation twenty-one, verse eight. But a fearful and unbelieving and abominable take note and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and, and idolaters and all liars to have their part in the lake which burn with fire and bring stone which is the second death. Those that do these things shall be cast into hell fire. Amen their ways. Repent of them. Confess them to the Lord. Ask for mercy. God will show you mercy. Remember, he has made a provision for the sins that are passed. In Exodus chapter 12 verse 13, he said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Because he said in, in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 22, without the shedding of blood, there shall be no remission of sin. And Christ has shed the blood. And all these things I mentioned to you, I didn't mention them to condemn you, but you might know what sin is all about. So you can repent of them. Because in Proverbs 28 verse 13, it says, He, he that covereth the sin shall not prosper. But whoso that confess them and forsake them shall have mercy. God wants to show you what? Mercy. That's why they mentioned. So you can repent and confess them and promise God no more. So, as I begin to round up, I told you the blood shed in Exodus chapter 12 verse 13 was a symbol it was done in a symbolic figure of the blood of Jesus which is to come in the New Testament and if you look at John chapter 1 you will see the actual lamb whose blood watches away our sin not covering sin like in the book of Exodus now look at John chapter 1 and verse 29 the next day John said Jesus coming unto him and said behold the lamp of God which taketh away the sin of the what? Who is that lamb? Yes, by his blood our sins are washed away, remitted. 
not cover it. Now, anybody who wants to enter heaven must come to the Father through Jesus Christ. By acceptance of Jesus as a Lord, as a personal Savior, that He died for you, He shed His blood for you, and that sins will be forgiven you. If you look at your Bible, in John chapter 3, verse 16, He said, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth He shall not perish, but have everlasting life. In John chapter 19, verse 30, when Jesus shed the blood, He said, It is finished. The end of all sacrifice was and say it is all over. And in John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way, not a way. He didn't say, I am a way. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming to the Father but by me. That means no other option, no other way. If he say, I am a way, it means there are other ways. But he said, I am the way. Only through him will have reconciliation with God. No other, not Peter, Paul, not Mary, John. Not Joseph. It's only Jesus Christ. And the Bible said in John chapter 10, verse 10b, Jesus said, I come that they might have life, have it more abundantly. And in John chapter 8, verse 36, he said, If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. And in Matthew chapter 11, 28, Jesus said, Come to me, all you that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you your rest. If you come to the Father through Jesus Christ, your sins shall be washed away. Look at your Bible. John chapter 1. I read verse 12. John chapter 1. Through him we receive power of sonship. By the means of the blood which has shed for me and for you. Verse 12. John's gospel. Chapter 1 verse 12. But as many as received him, they then gave him power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. As many as receive who? What power do they? Power of sonship. When you have that power, you become a child of God. And the grace for righteousness, grace for Christian life, that grace shall come upon you. The grace that Paul the Apostle said, by the grace of God, I am what I am. And I can do all things through Christ that threatened me. That grace will come upon you. And you can live right through Jesus Christ. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. He said, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things that passed away, behold, all things that become new. If you are in Christ, your life will be transformed to live in newness of life by the spirit of Jesus Christ. So I don't know what I'm looking for. The greatest thing, restoration you need this morning is restoration of your soul that was lost through Adam and Eve. The first thing to happen to you is you must be born again. Through who? Jesus Christ. Once that happens, you become a son. You become a child of the kingdom. And then when you go on to live the kingdom lifestyle in righteousness, holiness, righteousness of, you know, lifestyle of righteousness, holiness, and, you know, humility and faithfulness, if you go to live the kingdom lifestyle, everything you need as a son, God will give it to you. The Bible said in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, but seek it first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things, how many? All these things have been added unto you. So what you need to do as I round up is make up your mind. You will not continue in sin. Confess them, renounce them and surrender your life to Jesus. Make your Lord your personal Savior. Invite me to your heart. Reject the devil. In Romans chapter 10 verse 13. Let's read. Romans chapter 10 verse 13. He says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Are you interested? Are you ready? Rise up on your feet. Today, there shall be restoration. Everything lost. Salvation, sanctification, Holy Ghost baptism, the fruit of spirit and gift of spirit, all the miracle, all the blessings, there must be restoration. 
Open your mouth and pray. Pray. Call upon him. Everybody pray. Have mercy upon me, O oh God. I repent of every known and unknown sin. I confess unbelief, unfaithfulness, unrighteousness, hatred, contention and strife and bitterness. I confess, O oh God, wickedness. I'm sorry. Forgive me. No more fornication, adultery, lying and stealing and fighting and quarreling. No more corruption. No more wickedness. Forgive me, O oh Lord. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Call upon the Lord. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Everybody pray. Call upon Him. With all your heart, with all your heart, everybody pray. You, you pray. Pray with all your heart. You must have all that it takes to be blessed, to make it. Everybody pray. Pray with all your heart. Pray with all your heart. Everybody pray. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Father, I am sorry, Lord. Oh, Lord, I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Sorry, Lord. Father. Oh, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Sorry, Lord. Jehovah. Oh, Lord. I want more time. Sorry, Lord. Father. Oh, Lord. If you are truly sorry, just raise your hand up. I want to pray for you. If you are sorry, that person into smoking in their hand, and the one involved into armed robbery, repent and promise God no more. That person into masturbation, don't do it anymore. The person into stealing and picking pockets. Anywhere you go, you steal. Keep your hands up. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. Tell the person, no more fornication, adultery, no more. No more secret court or open court. I renounce court easy. Say that. No more prostitution, abortion. Tell the Lord, you're sorry for the past ones. No more killing people, shedding blood. Ask God for mercy. All the evil you have done, all the fraud, all the wickedness, all the corruption, all the evil, tell the Lord you are sorry. Lesbianism, homosexual, tell the Lord you are sorry. You will do them no more. Amen, dear ways. Say this word after me Almighty God. I come before you in the name of Jesus Christ. But I confess that I am a sinner. I am very sorry for all my sins. Lord, I promise you, I will never continue in them anymore. From today, 
I confess and I believe that Jesus Christ died for me. He shed his precious blood for me and he was buried. And on the third day, he rose again for my justification. Almighty God, use the blood of Jesus Christ. Wash my sins away from my heart. From today, I reject the devil. I renounce all his evil. I, I plead the blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my personal Savior. Cancel my name in the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. Give me power to sin no more. In Jesus' name we pray. Keep your two hands off. Sing this song. I surrender. I surrender. All to Jesus. Let the Savior. I Again, I saw I saw him. I saw him. Oh, to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep your hands up and pray for you. Our Father in heaven, I come in the name of Jesus. Father, I present this, my beloved brethren, before you. Whatsoever they have done, known and unknown to them, you are wrought. Remember mercy. Every yoke of power that makes them to do evil, I pray that you. From today, I claim their spirit, their soul, their body for Jesus. Cancel the name in the book of death. Write the name in the book of life. Give them power to sin no more. In Jesus' name, I plead the blood of Jesus. In Jesus, powerful. Is there anybody here that knows the area you need restoration? Oh yeah, mention it before I pray. Mention it. Restoration of every former glory lost. Restoration, O oh God, of zeal, of righteousness, of fear of God, of love of God, of holiness, of purity of faith, of zeal, restoration of compassion, of love for God, restoration for faithfulness, restoration, O oh God, for meekness, for humility, restoration of zeal, O oh God, restoration of power, restoration, O oh God, of spiritual strength, O oh God, and physical strength, restoration of sound health, restoration of every damaged organ, Restoration of brain and heart and liver and kidney, immune system, restoration, oh Lord of the whole system, restoration of bones, fan and damage, restoration of eyes, sin, jello, manaka, ilazin, the nick of prayer, restoration of everything lost, for have your way. Restoration of purity, purity, holiness, righteousness, hola via carusia. Lord of faithfulness, of zeal, of commitment, consecration, of faith, restoration, of fear of God, restoration, oh God, my Father Jehovah, of faithfulness, of obedience, of holiness, Father, restoration of all the fruit, all the gift, the spirit, the power of God, restoration, Jehovah, of Pharmacy, Commander Ravana, Zegeno, Maraca, Zanda, Yara, Bazulovia, restoration, everybody pray. Everybody pray. Everything your family have lost. 
restoration of every soul. Oh Lord, from Adam, restoration. My Father, of all the fruit and all the gifts, restoration, but slightly restoration, oh God. Lord of all our members, the Luvan of Uzir, restoration, restoration of Son, restoration, Jehovah, restoration, the complex Kataya, Razan Domica, Prescovana, Rizia, Ravana Kaya, Razan, the Lesson of Yena, Zinja, the complex, restoration of the fire of holiness, of purity, of faithfulness, Razan of fire, the Lord's Luzin, Nuvia, restoration of first love, Father, I pray, Rinkaluzin, Jenifiana, Uzir, restoration of God, our zeal of increase, of multiplication, of commitment. Everybody pray. In Jesus' name, we oh pray. He answer prayer. 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 God has chosen 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 answer prayer. On a zebele, on a zebele, on a zebele. On a God, I just answer prayer. 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 Lord, is an answer prayer. Lord, is an answer prayer. Lord, is an answer prayer. Amen. Lay your hands upon your chest. Do you believe your prayer has been answered? Now, I'm beginning with you. You have been praying that you are zeal. You are love for God. Your commitment and consecration, your prayerfulness be restored to you. Now receive it in Jesus' name. You pray for purity, you pray for holiness, you pray for righteousness, you pray for fear of God to restore. Receive it in Jesus' name. You'll be asking God for grace, for humility, for faithfulness, 
You have been asking God for all the fruit of the Spirit in your life. You have been asking God to have that love that makes for difference. The grace for you to evangelize, to win others, to live the life that pleases or receive it in Jesus' name. You want to go to morning cry. You want to preach in season out of season. You want to pray with all your heart. You want to have faith and zeal. Receive it in Jesus' name. You don't want those, those weakness anymore. You want to be strong in the law. You want to be a representative. Oh Lord, take over in Jesus' name. Something great. All of you have been asking God that your glory have been tampered with. That this is not how you should be. Now you know what God has for you. Today receive the glory. Glory of power. Glory of riches. Glory of honor. Glory of faith. Receive it in Jesus' name. Glory to excel above others to shine as a bright shining star receive it in Jesus name sign let this glory speak 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 glory of power glory of signs and wonders glory of miracle Glory of deliverance power. Glory of healing power. Let him move in the congregation. That favor that you used to have before. People favor you. People love you. People like to do something with you. Today, let that glory be restored. Everything they used to tell you story of your family. And it was a glorious family. But suddenly everything disappeared. The glory taken from that family, I command it to be restored. <laughs> glory of peace and unity and progress in your family may be restored in Jesus' name. <laughs> you don't used to be sick before and have tamper with your head. Glory of sound head. Rakataya mana kataya raba robogo chika peruskitena. Sound head. Sound head. Whatsoever they have tampered in your life, in your family, whatsoever glory lost. They close their business. They close the things that is giving joy to your family. I command their ways be open. Let the glory be restored in Jesus' name. There must be financial favor. Restoration, promotion. Father, glorify your name. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. Restore financial favor. I fall upon your people in Jesus' name. You will never live here the same. Everything tampered. I stand here by the authority in the name of Jesus. And I command, restore. Restore. 
restore, restore, restore. Sai. Take it, take what it belongs to, take it. Restoration of child bearing. Increase and multiplication. All the barren women receive children to conceive in Jesus' name. Restore of potency. Be potent in Jesus' name. They are cast by a spine that can be feed again in Jesus' name. Restoration of favor. That citizenship be given to you. That permanent stay be given to you. That visa be given to you. That employment be given to you. That position be restored in Jesus' name. My daddy, I pass a decree. No one that step into this place today shall go back with his stories. But they shall go back with testimonies. Spiritually, physically, materially, financially, academically, Father, I command restoration in Jesus' name. Somebody take the zeal now. Zeal, zeal, zeal. Take the first love back. The first love for God. Take it. Take the faith. Take the love for God. Love for brethren, love for the church, love for your pastor. Take the first love back, take it. Ranga, ranga, rangara. Zenjelufi, my rusi, then you can pray. Mana kataya, my rusi, robo kochi kape su kataya. Mundia karusi, and jenny can pray. Intervene. Restoration of all you have lost. Spiritually, physically, materially, financially, academically, restore, restore, restore. Every door the enemy manipulated, I command restoration. Let the door be open. I cancel that depth your life in Jesus' name. Oh Lord. These ones that people are sitting on their money, I command them to restore. Those that are stolen from you or from your family, stolen from generation, what belongs to you, I command them to restore the property. Restore the glory. Restore the condition. Restore everything taken away in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? That cancer, I cancel it. That terrible cough, I cancel it. That bleeding, I command to cease in Jesus' name. And I command new heart for you. That makes heart be replaced in Jesus' name. New liver for you. Receive brand new liver in Jesus' name. New kidney for you too, brand new kidney in Jesus' name. Every damaged immune system be replaced. I cancel HIV in Jesus' name. I cancel coronavirus in Jesus' name. I cancel the complication, all the weakness, all the affliction. Let it be removed in Jesus' name. My daddy. In their businesses, bless them. In their marriage, bless them. In their academic, bless them. I pray for favor and favor for this person seeking for scholarship. Let favor be given to you in Jesus' name. My daddy, visit everyone. I decree testimonies. I decree financial miracle alert, a financial favor. Lord, intervene in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? Shout it again. 
now from today testimony everywhere is there anything that you have been looking for from God any glory taken away or you are using your mouth say three times restore And I say to those powers and kingdom and spirit and being and men, restore yeah. everything in Jesus' name. Yeah. Can I hear you shout big amen? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to take the instant testimony but if you are here you cannot walk wherever you are rise up and walk in Jesus name if you have deaf and dumb I cancel it now if you have paralysis I cancel it now blindness I cancel it now hunchback I cancel it now all those that have glaucoma cataract I cancel it now I command their eyes be open in Jesus name every paralysis I cancel it Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Every case of death and dumb, I cancel it. I command their ear be open. Your tongue be loose. Begin to hear, begin to speak in Jesus' name. Every affliction you brought here, that typhoon, fever, malaria, present, I cancel it. And that stroke, I cancel it. I cancel that terrible diabetes constant you let it be healed in Jesus name every problem you brought here as a load by the enemy I commanded to be flooded West, West Point be removed that cancer be removed that paralysis be removed that cataract be removed Every problem you brought here, wherever you are, I command the power of God to come upon you in Jesus' name. Oh, yeah, you are free. Now, keep your Amen. three requests. Keep your three requests up. I'm praying for you. Heavenly Father, everything they have lifted up in prayers, in agreement of faith with the brethren I declare it on the answers be given to them in Jesus name that God cares I cancel I declare victory for you and that person missing I command that person to return back home in Jesus name and that person who has been sick outside the country, I cancel the sickness. Receive freedom. Receive deliverance. Every problem you brought here today, I declare you free. Can I hear you say amen? Say it again. Now, now, it is the tongue of that lady. You can walk, you are free. I said, rise up and walk. You are free. Rise up and walk home. You cannot come here and remain in your problem. This is not the place like that. Keep on walking and walk properly well. If you want to run, run. You are free. Where is your mother? Your mother should come and take you. You are free. Where is your mother? Walk around. Walk around. Don't, don't, just if you like you, you can jump. You can jump. Is it not a spiritual problem? You are free. You are free. You are free. Can you clap? You clap for Jesus, young lady. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Oh, yeah, sing this song. My master Jesus. My master calling Jesus. Calling Jesus. I'm calling Jesus. I'm calling Jesus. I'm calling Jesus. I'm calling Jesus. As I'm calling Jesus, I'm calling Jesus. As I'm calling Jesus, as I'm calling Jesus, as I'm calling Jesus. It is evident that there are some things that needed to come out more. Or when all of them have come out, this lady has no problem. 
There are some things that they put inside her and are coming out one by one. I command all of them to come out in Jesus' name. Oh yeah, vomit them. Vomit them. Vomit that thing out. Quickly. In the name of Jesus, I command vomit. By Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Enter the stomach. Enter the chest. Holy Ghost fire. Need to boy the boy in the and come out now. Boy in the heart. Boy in the heart. Come out. Come out. Whatever they projected in that heart, be it rings, be it chain, be it snake, I bind you. I cast you out in Jesus' name. Vomit it. Where is the scarf of that old lady? Where is the scarf? I plead the blood of Jesus. Now I nullify the initiation. By the blood of Jesus, I separate you from that power. Amen. And I claim your freedom. Amen. Can I hear you say, Amen. Amen. Where is the mother? How long did this thing start in her life? How long? Since March, early March this year. From school? Yes, she's in UNN Soka second year. To third year. All right, that was something they projected inside her. Yes. But this prayer has gone a long way to deliver her. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What you need to do is, I don't know how far, how distance from here. You should bring in her to church. We have been coming here since okay. that much. Yes. Okay. Where are you? Uh, what is your name? I'm Maduna. You, your daughter. Unto God. Okay. Can you, I want her to answer me. Let's, let's do conversation. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Quickly. I rebuke that to come out of you. Come out! I enter no more. In Jesus' name. Out! I set you free in Jesus' name. Now we cannot wait for her. You bring her for testimony. Prayer be made. You see the effect. You bring her next program so that people will see what the Lord has done for her. You are free in Jesus' name. Can you say amen to that prayer? Church, say amen again. Now, young lady, you are free. We don't walk by sight. We believe what we are saying. Can you rise up? Rise up. Rise up completely and be free. And walk home without this affliction anymore. I set you free. I cancel that evil for you. And I declare you free in Jesus' name. You are free. You are free. You are free. You are free. Can you look up here? Can you look up? Look up here. Look up. Can you look up here? Look up. Quickly, in the name of Jesus, look up. In the name of Jesus, I say, look up. Now, we want to listen to that testimony on Sunday because I know she is delivered. That's where I stand. You are free. You are free. If there is anything they're giving to you, you must vomit it. Can I hear you say amen to that? Child, be amen. Seven times. And 
it is amen in heaven. Oh, it is done. I would like to hear your testimony on Sunday. You are blessed in Jesus' name. I'm the God of choosing answer. Prayer.